So continuing onwards with our reactions lab here, this one here is station number five. Essentially what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be taking a calcium chloride solution and mixing it together with a sodium carbonate solution. Both of these started off as ionic compound, they started off as solids. As I dissolve them in a bunch of water, you notice pretty much these ones here are colorless and clear. Okay, So that means these ions here are fully soluble. What I'm going to do is just one by one, I'm going to toss in the calcium chloride, the sodium carbonate, into this test tube. And then again, we're just going to make some observations of what happens. So uh, let's take this uh, calcium chloride first. Currently it's 0 0.5 molar as a concentration. So there are some calcium ions and some chloride ions. Uh, let's do the same on the other side here. I even hold up the test tube so you can see it a little bit better. So, so far it's just a calcium chloride solution here. It's perfectly clear, perfectly colorless here. As I pass it, uh, sodium carbonate, the other solution here, uh, let's just observe what happens. Okay. So it's definitely no longer clear, it's no longer colorless here. You'll notice it's actually very uh, cloudy. Um, that's actually a solid that actually crashed out of solution. The name for that here um, is called a precipitate, when something crashes out of solution like that. Uh, if you try to do the balance equation here, you can see uh, which of the combinations here actually ends up being low soluble here, explaining potentially what this uh, solid actually is. So uh, I'm just going to let this settle for a little while here. We're going to find that this uh, precipitate here is actually more dense than water. So eventually it's going to settle to the bottom here. Uh, if I stir it up here, I can make it a suspension again as you sort of have it uh, at this point here. Uh, and just for fun, I'm going to add a little bit of acid to it later on to see what happens to this powder. So. All right, so this test tube here has been uh, sitting for about five minutes or so. We're starting to see the solid is actually compacting near the bottom. Uh, the clear liquid with some of the dissolved ions are still at the top. Uh, again, just for fun here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to it here. Um, we're just going to see what happens. Hydrochloric acid here is actually our uh, stomach acid as well. Okay, so it's sort of a model of what actually happens um, to the food after we eat it. If you like, you can try uh, figuring out the balance equation for that one as well. Okay, uh, We see that uh, steadily uh, some of that cloudy precipitate, uh, that chalky material, uh, ends up uh, dissolving.